Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I am Harbinger, the Pentagenarian. I'm a 56-year-old veteran that enjoys watching music videos that I have not seen before and reacting to them and giving you my two cents for whatever that's worth. Today, I am going to be checking out something a little bit different, which is a Persian uh, ensemble called the Delman Ensemble. They are performing a piece called uh, Mer... Uh, Mergia or Gia. I know nothing about this. I know that Arabic music and Persian music and that whole area of the world, it's very interesting and it kind of intrigues me. So this will be bringing us, I'm sure, a plethora of different instruments, different vocal styles than what we're used to. So just be prepared. It should be interesting, though, because, um, like I said, I like this kind of thing. If you do, great. If you don't, I'm sorry, um, but if you like the reaction, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, because this is the kind of thing that is going to be interspersed throughout my videos, and um, because I believe in checking out music from all over the place, and that's what we're going to do today. So without any further yammering on my part, let's jump into the Delbin Ensemble. All right, then, without any further uh, huffing about, let's check out the Delbin Ensemble performing Mer Jia. All right, without any further wasting of time, let's check out the Delbin Ensemble and the performance of Mer Gya. <laughs>
Let's uh, talk about that. You know, one of the good things about going into something, not knowing what the hell you're listening to or having expectations, is it lets you actually listen to it with a clear mind. And that is something that is almost meditative. The very consistent beat of the drum, the almost otherworldly sound of the stringed instruments, and one of the things that I've always liked about this type of, you know, I hate using the term Middle East, but Persian and Arabic music is the way the voice is worked. It's different than what we're used to in the West. There's the um, ululations or ululations when, when they do the little uh, up and down warbling in the back of their throat. And I find it fascinating, but at the same time, like I said, in this type of atmosphere, it's very calming and meditative. You just put the headphones on. You could drift away, and and it's probably because of the way we've been conditioned. Because when you hear this music, you think of far-off places and dunes and deserts. But when I listen to this, when I close my eyes, I can almost feel the 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 atmosphere of Persia or, you know, Iraq or one of those, one of those places. Um, and it's, it's very ancient. And that's one of the things that is lost on so many people is the area of the world that this comes from is very, very ancient. This is, this is the area that is the cradle of civilization. This is where they're, you know, the, the, everything started here in Mesopotamia, um, you know, the, 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 the area of Turkey, that, that whole part of the world is incredibly ancient. You know, you, you know that's where they found the, uh, the ruins of Gobekli Tepe, which, you know, date back 12,000 years. That, that predates what they thought was agriculture. And that's, that's amazing when you think about it. I mean, the United States, we're excited if we go see a gig someplace that Jimi Hendrix played. You go to some place like Jerusalem or, or, or Iran or Iraq or, or, you know, you go to Jordan. And there are buildings that are 10,000 years old. There, there are ruins of, of civilizations that we don't even know about. And that's mind-blowing. And that's, that's the type of thing that I think about when I hear this music. You know, consider, I think it was the Hittite that they were spoken about in the Bible, but we've only actually known about them as far as finding any of their, you know, the remains of their civilization for less than 100 years. I mean, just wrap your head around that for a minute. So when I hear this, I think that's one of the things that draws me to it is I hear something that has the roots in something very, very ancient. Something that was pre-everything, pre-organized religion, pre-government. These were people that, you know, when they started forming these things, it was the first civilizations. And all the roots of this are coming from that, and it builds upon layer upon layer upon layer. And, you know, a lot of the stuff that sounds just, you know, like you can go up to Siberia and you listen to um, Otikin or Utukin, sorry, and the vocalizations we're not used to because the vocalizations are drawn from a different place. They're drawn from nature. They're drawn from deep within, um, and that's what they did. So I think that's cool. I'm going to stop yammering. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you think it's interesting, hey, subscribe. Never know what I'm going to listen to, and um, if you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. So I am going to stop here. I'm going to say, uh, take care of yourselves. Be good to one another. Don't be a dick. The world has enough of them. Okay? So until next time, take care. Bye-bye.